and biology, physics, and space science, and uh, <coughs> physics. Uh, but in here, you won't have any specific uh, topics. It is kind of general. It takes your critical thing and problem solving. Uh, ACT includes science reasoning test. Sorry, science. Using test, and you don't have here. ECT, uh, ECT, uh, maths includes trigonometry, but you don't have here. Okay, and then set is not entirely multiple choice. Not entirely. Multiple question test because you will have a grid in problem in math, which is not multiple choice. Okay, but ACT uh, is entirely multiple multiple question and again here you will have no guessing penalty. Here you will have. Okay? And the last one, easy test, uh, easy to test, in, uh, test your English grammar, the set does not. Do you get the point? Mm -hmm. Easy to test, in, test your English uh, grammar, the set does not. But set tests vocabulary much more than easy to. So many students uh, used to say that you know, in the set, you we need to learn so many vocabulary, so that's why I want to skip the, uh, on the ECT test. But uh, this is uh, not only thing. Uh, you can like uh, you can ca catch up vocabularies quite easily if you know the techniques. Because for me, you know, I got only one month, but however, I could able uh, to learn almost 500 words. Because uh, you know, words are quite. You can like make a, a deck of cards, flashcards, and just write the uh, words. On one pair, on one side, and definition on the other side. So every morning you have to revise, just see the uh, board and just you know uh, create the definition inside your mind. So that through this you know you can day by day you can like uh, uh, that will be routine in your mind if you uh, uh, remind day by day okay revise. And easy to you know now I will tell my personal experience and set uh, set you know or. Uh, the main thing is, uh, you know, for set, I, I forgot to tell you before, there are two types, set, now I'm, uh, this one is set reasoning test, okay, the other one is set subject test, so on the set uh, reasoning test, uh, set subject test, you will have specific subject, like uh, maths, maths, there are two types, maths level one, level two, and for phys you have, have physics, chemistry, biology, okay, uh, but in set reasoning test, it's more or uh, less like a uh, critical. There won't be any kind of specific uh, uh, subject test. It's kind of general. It tests your attitude and intelligence. Uh, for ACT, so I, for preparation for the set, uh, you know, I refer, I use www dot Godkids.com. This is a very good site, you know. Temba gave it to me. You know Temba, right? Mm -hmm. So Temba gave it to me. This is, uh, here you will have many students who are also appearing for set test. So if you face difficulty in question, you can just ask online. There will be students who are also, you know, practicing uh, using this uh, site. So you can chat with them and you can also tell, like, uh, share your ideas on colleges, on admission to colleges. There are many uh, good students and also through this, you know, you can like, uh, uh, like uh, you can like make your friend circle quite larger, and so that you will have more information, get more information. And the the official site is www.collegebot.academy. This is the official site. So uh, in the official site, if you uh, sign up for this site, then you will have uh, set questions, daily set questions. In your Yahoo mail or your, in any of your accounts, and so you can uh, like uh, add some all the questions every time, so that you can like play. that means you have to practice regularly so that you excel in uh, as on the set test. Uh, 
also, no, for ACT, ACT, you have to use um, www.actstudents.org. Okay? And for registration, you have to use this one www.collegebot.org. And for registration, uh, you have to give your personal information detail, personal information, and you will have to choose whether you want to give set reasoning test or set subject test. Don't uh, make mistake while choosing this. Okay. <laughs> so also, you know, test and like uh, you have to sign up uh, like for early as possible so that you will get uh, your place of your choice. Otherwise, you have to change the state. You know, or if you do not apply, so for example, if you want to. If you want to apply, uh, do tests and delete. But if you do not apply earlier, then that's will be full, and you will have to go to Daraden or other places. So it's so. In fact, uh, atmosphere atmosphere really depends on the test takers. So you have to think it properly. Okay. Um, I can make a short comment on that yeah. because it's a mistake that I had Calvin do. Uh, I registered him for the wrong test. And, and I can tell you exactly what happened because it's something to learn. There was problems with the connection and it broke down and it broke down and it went into loops. And in the end I was dead tired with it and I didn't check properly because every time it reset things. Yeah. So uh, I probably had done it correct five times or something. And when I finally got through, then I, I hadn't checked. So I, I registered you for, for a reasoning test and, and you were to take uh, subject tests. So, if you want, so I, I will stop here. And if you want to learn about sets, do you want to learn about sets subject tests? Yeah, can, can I add uh, a few more uh, things, yeah. if I remember? Uh, yeah, it was this uh, college board. There you can. It's also, as far as I understand, very helpful in selecting colleges. Yeah. You have basically you can specify and you can ask and. You have to learn how to do it because I use another site, but it is basically you can get basic information about any university in the United States on that page. And you can specify what you want and then they give you a list uh, of uh, colleges uh, they suggest. And for uh, practicing English, you have mentioned the British Council. Uh, and if someone can write their uh, uh, link also, because they, that's also a very good uh, site for just practicing English for any purpose. They have several sections and several different levels. Uh, does anyone know exactly? And otherwise you can Google it, British Council, yeah. and, and then find this uh, site where they uh, help you. Uh, but you could write it, so just British Council, so that we uh, kind of have it on record. And one more comment that I remember that I had earlier about uh, set uh, subject tests. Different universities have different requirements. Some require three tests and some require tests in that area and that area and not too many in that area and many things like that. Or they demand or they prefer a certain number. And then you can also go into this SAT or college board and check what is available. Because one friend of ours, uh, he is in a very good college now, or university, but he would have preferred another one. And he would have gone there if he had had three uh, set subject tests. And he's reasonably good in Chinese. So he could have set elementary Chinese or whatever it is, uh, and done well enough without even practicing. Uh, and the problem is that test is only done once or twice a year or something. So also, I mean, in this process, you're working several levels at the same time. Yeah. If there are colleges that you want to talk, or just have this, if you have this ability, that you have the history, that you have a good knowledge in Chinese, I mean, you might just take this test and you don't have to send it to anyone. Or you send it to them, it will never be a minus, it will always be a plus. Yeah. Just question is how much plus will it be? In general, if you don't take the test 50 times, I think it's no 
disadvantage of taking the test once, twice or three times. Even if the university, some of them demand to see all your results. Most of them don't even do that. They only need to demand to see the best results. But I, can, I cannot think that uh, taking a test three times and developing them, I mean, that, that is what education is all about. Yeah. So I cannot see that that is, is a disadvantage. Now, questions for Calden. And those kind of deck of cards Calden is talking about, we have at least two varieties in the back in this library. Uh, I don't think we supplied with any of those. The Calden is kind of the first uh, test person uh, in this group for, for and also with a very good result very early. And then we have added a few more um, gadgets uh, to help along. And this deck of cards is probably, I mean, it's better to, to do it yourself, but it takes much longer time. So you save time by using uh, pre pre printed. Yeah. And they are available commercially. Uh, I would recommend you to read uh, many like uh, short passages possible. Okay, you know, for both Torfil and for both the set, there will there won't be any long passages. There won't be uh, there will be only short passages, and you have to abstract all the main ideas and all the themes from this passage. So I recommend you to read uh, Times of Ideas in the newspaper. Don't read just, uh, don't only spend time on the uh, celebrities and stuff. Just spend more time on the Times of Ideas. And also there are uh, mm, like a daily newspaper. Like uh, you will also find uh, in the Google, just go to, uh, like, uh, you will have www. Physicsworld.com. Here you will find uh, all the new uh, in inventions. So you will also find the research. So in the uh, on the day of test, you will have research papers also, also. Okay. And also for sets, if you want to give sets uh, subject tests uh, for physics, I will recommend you to www.ocw.edu or www.khanacademy.com uh, Here you will have the you know, lectures by MIT professor uh, Walter Lucas and he will uh, tell you about classical mechanics, electricity and magnetism which are very good. You know, every uh, like students in the US you know, they, they use this uh, website frequently. So you will have your other students who will put uh, pose on questions in this website and you will have chance to answer their questions. Also you will have chance to put on questions in this site. The Khan Academy is very good. Here you will have all the types of uh, coach, uh, like online lecture for all types of subjects. Business, arts, science and everything. So that's our The history that is to understand is Bill Gates noticed this Dr. Khan several years ago, and he's financing, he's financing it. So uh, it's, it's all financed with Bill Gates, yeah. Khan Academy. And it's a variety of topics, and uh, it's pedagogics in a way that you very, very seldom experience. More questions? Thank you, Calden. Was very instructive and very well performed presentation. One more. And I hope they will all be available now for questions that you have. Of course, all the time we are all here, but maybe specifically now that you will have questions that uh, you maybe want to ask to them personally. Otherwise, program now is you have groups to work in, some of you, you have a personal essay, and I will have some interviews, and we will have lunch 1.30.